Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your August 2020 mid-month general reading. This is for the last half of August and this is for the water sign of Cancer. Our lovely crabs. For the last two weeks of August, welcome everyone. I hope you're all safe and well. Um, sane as possible. It's crazy here. Thanks for taking the time to tune in today. Your likes, your shares, subscribes, donations, feedback, comments. It's all welcome. It all helps. Thank you so much. <clears throat> so this reading is for Cancer for the last half of August 2020. Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising. If your Venus is in Cancer, if you're cross-watching for a Cancerian, uh, it's all relevant. It all applies. But it all resonates a little differently for everyone watching. Of course, you all have your own different life stories going on. If any of the readings do resonate with you and you would like to reach out, take a deeper look at something, get a personal reading or information, just click on the description link below. Click on that little arrow. It pulls down information. You'll see my email address there. Maggie, the number one, mcguire at gmail.com. You can email me. I can usually respond within the same day or the first 24 hours with more information. And as I do readings full time, it's all that I do. I'm pretty diligent at working with your schedule, my schedule, to get readings set up in as timely a fashion as possible, so email me if you're interested. I would be delighted to work with you. I do offer a wide variety of readings in all the main areas of life. Okay, Cancer. Let's see what <clears throat> the last half of August is holding for you. Interesting, Leo started with this. Uh, perhaps some of you are on the Cancer Leo cusp. We begin with the Five of Wands, followed by Judgment, the King of Wands, followed by the Seven of Wands from the bottom of the deck the Six of Wands. This is interesting because it feels <clears throat> a little bit like the Leo reading, a fire sign to your water. They had a, a real abundance of pentacles. Here you have a real abundance of wands, of fire. So again, this might resonate quite strongly for some of you um, <clears throat> Cancers that are cuspers, that you're on the, you know, you're on, you know, the, the cusp of Cancer in Leo. I also feel like some of you are dealing with uh, a fire sign as well. So the overall energy <clears throat> is victory, the Six of Wands. This is victory, significant victory after a battle, after a struggle, after a challenge of some kind. And also being publicly recognized for your efforts, your victory, your success. It can be a card that represents that uh, you might be in the public eye. For the last half of August, you might be getting a bonus, a promotion, an award, um, or just people might be seeing you as somebody who's very uh, successful, charming, victorious, attractive, confident. That's your overall energy. <clears throat> but we have some conflict into each life, of course, typically a little conflict. The Five of Wands. Typically, this represents sort of petty conflict. It can represent low-minded or mean-minded conflict, you know, gossip, rumor mongering, um, not tremendously serious. It's a minor number in a pip card. They're sparring, practice weapons, not real weapons, but everyone wants to win, so nobody wants to back down. Endless conflict, fighting over the same thing over and over again, and it's rather petty, and nobody, perhaps you've even lost, you know, forgotten the the, the reason you were fighting in the first place, or what's really important. It feels like it feels like there's an aggressiveness here, Cancer, in the last half of August between you and someone else. At conflict, arguing, and just like in the Leo reading. It's, it's an old argument. It's You've had the same argument or the same discussion over and over and over again. And you keep having it over and over and over again. 
and it's it's about it feels like it's about where you're going perhaps where you're going in the future or what you really want out of this relationship or situation if it's not like a love romance relationship could be work career something else it feels like you're being very defensive but also standing your ground on what you want and what you want is the opportunity to move forward one way or the other. <clears throat> what clarifies that conflict is judgment. Major Arcana card. And when judgment usually shows up, it, it, it typically means that there's a choice to be made and that the result of that choice will likely be final or will last for quite a long time. For instance, if you're trying to decide whether to stay in a situation or leave a situation, whatever choice you make is the one that you're probably going to be stuck with for quite some time. Therefore, consider carefully. If you choose path A, that's probably the path that you'll stay on for quite some time. It's not an easily, if at all, reversible choice. And therein is the conflict. And I feel like this is a situation which is stagnant and stuck. And the only movement on it kind of comes when the argument comes up again. But there's no real change affected here, and that's what you're focused on. And I think that you have been off and on for quite some time in whatever the situation or relationship is. But it feels like you're now at a point where, you know, it's fish or cut bait time for the other side, whether it's another person, people, etc. So <clears throat> we have the King of Wands here, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This can be some of the more, you know, some of this more aggressive, ambitious, um, focused energy. Uh, the King of Wands has matured and evolved uh, to come to the top of his suit, fire, creative energy, fire energy. This is somebody who has reached a place of commitment, responsibility, harmony, and the experience to utilize um, the element of fire. Somebody who's uh, a go-getter, somebody who... If there's a problem, he's going to figure out how to deal with it and move on, or she. Um, this is not somebody who rests on their laurels for very long. This, I think, for some of you, is also another person that is influential or important in this situation. Underneath that, we have the Seven of Wands, defensive energy. You've put a lot of effort into this, and you're standing your ground on something. And it's sitting right next to judgment. The Five of Wands is sitting next to the King of Wands. So herein is the conflict. I feel like for a lot of you Cancerians, this King of Wands is someone, another person in this situation that is important, if not your partner. Um, and also I feel like some of this energy of the King of Wands belongs to you. There's some kind of ongoing you know, argument happening over where this relationship or situation is going, uh, going in the future. Um, I feel like you've probably invested quite a bit into it and you're now at the point where you know you're no longer willing to wait or wait very much longer but there's still this sense of no you know going around and around and around which leaves you with the opportunity to do I just decide to stay in this and make my peace with it or do I leave because it doesn't look like the other person is on board for any kind of real change Let's see what the Six of Wands, what does this focus on? This victory. The Fool, starting off on a brand new path. Hmm. Fool is starting off on a new journey. He's the first major arcana card in the tarot. He's stepping off the beaten path and exploring something new. It's very self-empowering energy. What's this conflict about? What is this opportunity about? The choice. The Ace of Wands, another card that represents you know, renewal and a new beginning, or renewal of an already existing situation, more passion, more creativity, more enthusiasm, more desire. What's this King of Wands about? Who or what? Wow, we had one just jump, right? The Emperor. 
more fire energy here because the Emperor is uh, also Aries. So he may be dealing with an Aries, a father or father figure, or someone in your life, whether it's a partner or a boss, that is perhaps older, perhaps on the controlling, stubborn, domineering, structured side. Yeah, it feels like you guys are at a stalemate. So I'm clarifying the Seven of Wands. What are you defending? The Three of Wands. The efforts you've put into moving towards your future and waiting to see what the results of that are. I feel like you've been waiting for quite some time. Let's clarify judgment. We clarify the Five of Wands with the Ace of Wands. Let's clarify judgment. You have a lot of energy here about starting over again and starting new. Some of you may have already decided to have a new beginning to move on. And this other person who's significant or important or influential um, might be coming back in and going, but wait. But it feels like you're kind of off and running and very determined to have your new beginning with or without this other person or situation. Clarify judgment. Another ace, the ace of pentacles. So you have a lot of cards that imply moving on on a brand new way, brand new start. And you're very determined. You're very aggressive about that. And it feels like the conflict is with another person. Again, it could be a boss, or maybe a stubborn, older, controlling partner. It could be a father, a father figure. There's this kind of ongoing conflict about moving forward in this situation one way or the other. And I feel like a lot of you are either making up your mind to move on away and or, or without this person's blessing or approval or even with them. Or you already have. And there's conflict with this person because they're like, wait, 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 wait. I don't want you to move forward without me. I don't want you to move forward without my, you know, etc. I mean, this is going to resonate differently for everyone, of course. The nature of the conflict and the relationship, the nature of the relationship you have with this person or the people on the other side of this situation or relationship. I feel like you're done with a runaround. You're done with going on and on and on and on and on with no real change. And you are either making the decision or have already made the decision to set off on, an, on a new path, you know, with or without this person. And it feels like this other person is going, wait, wait, but this isn't done, you know, and we can't, you can't do this. And, but this is what I really meant. And, you know, but I still don't see that they're on board with this new beginning. So it feels like a lot of you are just kind of going off on your own. Let's pull. It might be leaving a relationship. It might be, you know, freeing yourself from a controlling situation with a parent, um, a boss. Because it feels like somebody's been trying to control you for a long time or keep you in this sort of box sort of thing. And you're just like, you know, I'm, I'm, I keep having the same argument over and over again. I'm done. I'm off. I'm going. So let's see what you need to focus on for the last half of August here. Nine of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is the happy home card, family, feeling like you're out of place in your life, particularly in your personal life, like your home life or your family life, whatever that is. But the Nine of Pentacles is about independence and self-sufficiency, self-empowerment, confidence, knowing that you can take care of yourself, your environment, your own family, your home, whatever that situation is for you. You don't need help from anybody else. You can provide those things for yourself. You've worked hard to be able to get to a place where you can do that. And you have the assertiveness and the confidence now to know that. Yeah, so Cancer, this feels very much like... Um, you're either in the final stages of breaking free from a situation which has been very restrictive and confining to you, 
Uh, you've gone around and around with the other side, the other person, etc. about it. Um, but you've now reached a point, and you may have started out needing this person, needing this situation in more than just an emotional way, like if it's a boss or a job or even a partner. But because of your hard work, you've gotten to a place where, you know, you're able to provide those things for yourself. You no longer need, right? And this other person is kind of pushing back against that and resisting and going, but wait, 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 wait. Maybe we can, you know, I mean, it's up to you if you want to return or take this person along with you, but just remember that the emperor is a hard person to negotiate with because he's kind of at the top of the food chain and he knows it. So, um... I mean, I, I'm not a believer in burning bridges, but this looks like a path you might be well served to go forward on your own, or at least with that sense of assertiveness and independence and confidence. Uh, if this partnership, which is felt more with one person up here and the other person down here, the only way that it can proceed forward is if, you know, this emperor agrees that this is an equal sort of relationship and partnership, and it remains to be seen with all of your different lives, whether that's possible or not. Regardless, you are moving on because you have the ability to do that. All right, Cancer, that is your reading for the last half of August. I hope that you found it useful and insightful. Again, if you would like to reach out and take a deeper look at something or get a personal reading or information, just click on that little arrow that pulls down information. Email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I would be delighted to hear from you. I'll see you all in a couple of weeks for the September general readings. Until then, stay safe and well. I wish you many blessings. I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.